Hey guys, let's see bringing you another video. Welcome back. We are playing Burb was blind pick. And here's the weird thing. There's some odd things here. So we're against a one trick Galio who didn't pick Galio, presumably because Galio is not very good against Anivia. For those that are like, what is it not? Not really. So when Galio would want to use his E for the engage, if Anivia is very good, the wall instantly is a big counter. This is interesting as well. It's a one trick fiddle. Our jungler pick fiddle. And if you look at the stats of this, this is terrible on Briar. This is very bad. So hopefully this should be a easy win for us in jungle. Uh, Fiora versus Camille. Very crazy matchup. One of them's probably going to get fed. And then, yeah, these two don't seem too bad, though. The Twitch and the Shaco. Fairly scary lane. Double stealth. I've got to be careful at level one mid because both Shaco and Twitch can make an impact level one if they wanted to. The only thing is it is a bit bizarre that this guy's got flash on Shaco's support. Uh, I'd say Brand could be in trouble being so immobile. At the same time, if Brand can get his damage off, then they could die. So we'll see. We will see. But yeah, the plan. So again, we're still in the tryhard session on the thumbnails. This might be like tryhard session four. You know, I've done those kind of like day one, day two, day three of all the tryhard sessions. So this is probably day four. And... Um, I'm at least, I've decided at least today and tomorrow I'm doing the try hard before the patch. The patch on Wednesday could change a lot. You know, I've not played top lane yet this week. Um, so I might play top lane next game. You know, get a cheeky Garen game in, who knows. Um, but obviously, Hullbreaker is getting nerfed on Wednesday. It's not going to do a lot. It's still going to be default playstyle split push, but Hullbreaker. But yeah. Does Briar stop attacking you if you go into egg? I doubt it. I imagine she'd keep attacking. But obviously, it'd be fairly funny if I'm an egg under the tower and she can't, you know, get rid of it. What are you doing? You took the wrong ability, level one. That's a very weird invade. I would imagine a one-trick Galio is going to be very uncomfortable on Vex. I still, like, again, obviously I don't rate one-tricks very heavily anyway, but surely a one-trick on Galio is better playing Galio than Vex. Um, is she not dead? Wow. Health potion saved them. That's surprising. This is where I, I level three, I can go wall and she should be dead. If she stays too close to me. Oh, wow. She missed that, but weirdly it worked. She's just not going to die. As he cannot. She's not going to die and a Briar's going to show up to save her. I can just feel it. Yep. And I'm dead. Knew it. So vote for show. Tier 3, 76 months. Says, Why is Peter Pan always flying? He never lands. Oh, that was bad. Again, it, it sucks when you know you're against such a weak player because you overplay and then the jungler turns up. Always happens. <laughs> Robert says, I've been watching some worlds and Huzzy saying a zero OP in pro play even at 45% win rate is true. Oh, God, yeah. Again, win rate has no indication if a champion is strong or weak. Again, most players know this. Unfortunately, a lot of players don't. Unfortunately, Riot doesn't. Um, Azir by mechanics in the hands of good players is crazy strong. 
but it's where you can't balance Azir to the average. You have to balance him to the best, because otherwise you're screwed. Briar's actually doing not bad, even though her stats are awful. And obviously, stats are stats. Is why for a long time, obviously, especially on the Huzzy account, I stopped uh, looking at stats because they, they paint a picture in your mind. And that picture just sometimes isn't true. And she's running, presumably, to Briar. Who, hilariously, because she was running that way, Briar might be doing dragon. I dream of Era's past. She's not. Yeah, well, she hasn't gone tier on Vex. She's gone Dark Seal. I kind of feel like I'm going to get camped this game. I can just feel it. And feel it come I do kind of find it hilarious that this player has picked up Dark Seal. That's a weirdly cocky. Hey, Stone Grunt with another three gifted subs, dude. Thank you so much. Making it to 10 so far this week, and it's only a Monday. Thank you, thank you. It's very kind. Um, again, her mana management is very poor. Maybe she was gonna push it in anyway. Possible. Stop pinging me! Shima07, thank you much too for the tier one for four months. That was a really weird base by the, the Vex. She literally only died in that situation because she based and I presume was looking in shop. Obviously, that's got nothing to do with them not being on Galio and Vex. That's just a very weird mistake to make. I will be reborn. That was odd. They were either in shop or distracted with something in like real life. What's going pretty good? Whatever happened to Twitch? Because there was a period of time that Twitch completely was like everything in League. And now you just don't really see them that much. Did he get really nerfed? Like, I don't think he did. Yeah, I guess it was quite heavy AP and they definitely they definitely nerfed the AP build. This Vex is, um, a player. Where's the Briar? Come on, I know you're getting help. Or the Shaco or someone. Oh, just the wrong side. Jesus! They have both missiles. Is Vex and Briar missile. <laughs> and I can understand why I'm going to get camped this game, but it's a bit annoying. Do you think Shaco now is even mid? Like, I wouldn't put it past them. Think beyond one lifetime. I really wouldn't. Are they duo? I don't think so. Twitch is mid! You little beep. Insert beep. Insert your own choice of word. Can't help with that. For us to fight that, we need fiddle. With a fiddle ult, that's doable, but fiddle is bot lane. Hello, Luchden. 
Wait, what are they going? Are they going... Why am, is the Vex going? Rocket belt? No. He wouldn't be doing rocket belt, right? That was really bad by Fiddle. Wow. He's dead. Oh, wait, the bouncies! It might even kill the Twitch. That might even be a dead Twitch. Okay, it's not. That was the Fiddle's first kind of bigger play. So, unfortunately, we're really not making up for there on a that's a fiddle one trick not on fiddle the, the non-fiddle one trick on briar is definitely outperforming our fiddle on fiddle right now Winter wind, guide me. Oh. An enemy has been slain. come on oh Where did it go? Was it top? It was top. They have no idea what they're doing. Jesus. What? Do not the oh, you little quick fiddle! Oh, I'm alive! Thanks! Avida Zane! Oh, really? I will be reborn. At least Vex doesn't get any of this gold, really. <laughs> Welcome back to lane. <laughs> Shame we didn't kill the Briar. That's a shutdown. But still good. Let's soar. Might be greedy. Shaco's there. Just could Briar kill me? Because she would have returned a jungle, probably healed more than you'd imagine. Uh, run that way. Did it hit someone? Oh, it did. Man. Guys, on oh, my bot lane. Oh, I'm basically... D oh, this Vex positioning! Why did you position like that, though, Kai? So you should be fine. Oh, that was really bad. Nice. At least we got the kill with her. I'm going back. Screw it. If no one gets it, that's still fine. Wait, Fior, Fior just died to Camille? Item spike, maybe? Fior just got hers. This is a fiesta of a game. This is, again, we're in Diamond 1, but our MMR is not caught up. Ice is in Diamond 4. Rand's in Diamond 3. Fiddle's in Diamond 4. Fior is in Emerald 1, and she's not a Smurf. I'm in Diamond 1 right now, and I'm playing on average, I would say, with Diamond 3 players. Why? No idea. Genuinely have no idea. Uh, again, you can't do anything. I can't do anything to make my MMR better other than what I've already been doing, which is winning a lot. It's very weird. All right, she's bot. I think she missed her ultimate, though. They should have just played Galio. Like, I'm not even trying to be mean or anything, but, like, they have no idea how to play Vex. 
they may as well have just played their one trick. Twitch still at ulti? Oh god. Oh, come on, man. Camille came over to help with the dragon. Oh, wrong thing. The brand's dead. This game's difficult, man. Oh, the box. The Vex is diamond, but it's where I've always said they're not a diamond player, they're a diamond one trick. It's why there is a definitive difference. One tricks will never want to admit it, but they're not diamond players. That's the difference between a, a general player and a one trick. You put a general player in a rating, they deserve that rating. You put them in different champions, they'll get diamond again on a different champion because they can play other things. Take a one trick away, take that champion away from one trick. They won't be the rating that they are, and they probably would never climb to that rating on different champs, you know? It, 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 I know it sounds a bit harsh, but it is reality. Was he ghosted then? Whenever you hear Briar ult, biggest advice I can do is just move. Just make sure you don't stand where you are currently. Just make sure you've moved at least a little bit. Oh, good job, Fiddle. Yeah, this bot lane diff is way too big. 1 and 4 Kaisa versus 405 Twitch. Hell can you do? Nothing. Even though, again, they have a useless Vex, the rest of them are just doing better than my team. Our jungle is 0 4. 0 4, 1 4, 4 4. It's too hard. And then here? No? Okay. Could have probably ulted there. Or not ulted, W'd. There's like any top laners, like, I don't know technically who should beat Camille Fiora. That looks quite heavily Fiora favoured. Ooh. Lebug. This Vex is so bad. Oh. Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's fine. That's actually not really worth for the Twitch to do that, I would say. He's waiting cool down. Kaiser, don't abandon him! You can fight! Oh... That is a straight up trolling. Wow. That's terrible by that player. Are they a Jinx one trick with that name? No, they're actually a Kaiser main with a 45% win rate. Hmm. Ouch. Wow. Night Harvester. I mean, some Galios bite Night Harvester, so maybe they're just doing a Galio build bottom Vex. That's my only thought. I also just noticed, obviously, this is a one-trick fiddle. Their name is Surprise. Obviously, the, the famous Fiddlesticks line. Forever watchful. Fiddles top. I... What? You... Like... This fiddle has no idea what they're doing. Like, why top? Yor is getting destroyed and we're now losing dragon. At least it's only the first dragon, weirdly, of the game.
take time to reflect. Ah! I just put my ultimate down. Instantly cancelled by the fear. This is actually risky where I am right now because Shaco and um Shaco and Twitch could be on me. Ta-da. I knew it was coming as well. Fight! Brand ulti! Where's the brand ulti? It's been used? Alright, Vexalt was wasted. I do think this game is winnable, but I think I've got to be a bit smarter than that. That was bad by me. Like, I literally was like, oh, I'm about to be engaged on by Shaco. Well, this Fiora is just not doing too hot, huh? She should have that kill. Wow, that shouldn't have been that close. Yeah, right now the problem is the enemy bot lane. They are a problem. Miss Briar. That's really bad by her. That's an opening for us. I don't even know if I should have flashed if I'm. Damn, there was Shaco in that. Got him. Lol. That was very good, very good, very nice, very nice. My ultimate obviously gets the outline of stealth targets, so hilariously Shaco was in the middle of my ult, which is quite fun. We should just honestly do it straight away. Briar could ultimate here, obviously, if I get her, her cooldown doesn't seem to be incredibly high. It all. Boom! He has no damage. But they might be okay. Alright, I'm going here. Gonna try and stop Camille. She might just straight up murder me. Oh my god. She is so stupidly strong. Oh, the top lane difference, man. You're dead too. This top lane difference is just a new, like, what? Camille's a smurf, level 36, no, level 39 account, but only has two games of Camille. They're a Yone main. And the Fiora is not a smurf. Oh, they're a Gnar main with a 33% win rate, and I think they've given up playing Gnar. Yeah, that does explain a little bit of what the hell's gone on in top lane. I just don't understand how she got beat that bad. Lives will I give. This one is just really difficult for me. It's like, I'm in a mobile bird. I'm trying to do well. I've demolished the mid lane, but it just seems irrelevant because the enemy bot lane can jump on me with stealth. Or get on me with stealth. Briar is focusing me quite a lot. Camille can jump on me. And again, even the Vex, who's bad, if she gets an ultimate or a fear off of me, it I does disturb me a lot, you know? So this is a hard one for me to carry. And this is where, like... You'd like your team to do a little bit better, but then we have a 3 and 7 Twitch. Kaiser is recovering her game, but very slowly. We'll see. I want to get... Um... That's the... Oh, really? They normally don't, like, hide the fake behind, like, a little... Normally the fake wouldn't be like hiding here, you know. She's used E, that's quite big. Forever 
They have done dragon. Not convinced. Okay, I was about to say, I'm not convinced they've got the damage, but they do. They should have let that hit. Again, in a really, really weird way, they should have let that hit. Because then they would have been 2v1 against Briar, you know? She's so cocky. Oh my god, what a wall! What a wall! That was mental, that wall. I pinned the twitch in. Oh, that was nice. Oof. We're playing good. Need level 16. It's quite slow leveling this game. If my team protect me, I think we can do well. And it's weird that Shaco's got flash. Like, he really shouldn't have that. Ah, balls. This is bad. Ah, bad wall. All right, never mind. That's game. Unfortunately, they got caught. GG. Just get into the next one now. Like, whoever got caught here, was it Brand? Like, they just gave momentum completely back to the enemy team. That one was just too difficult with the teammates that we had, unfortunately. But it happens. So I might upload that one. It might happen. Do 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 But yeah, I'm happy with how we played. 18k damage. I actually did the most damage on my team, which again, I'm an Anivia who like is late mid late game scaling. So to do the most damage, I probably really shouldn't. But yeah. But yeah, Fiddle got outperformed to the one trick fiddle, not on fiddle. Top lane was an absolute disaster. Again, you'll look at the Fjord and go, oh, you know, 6 4 3, that's not too bad. But yeah, nearly double damage does the Camille and she took over. Yeah. Camille is a very strong champion when she gets going or if she gets going. Shame that we lost to this Vex because, yeah, she was not good. But it is what it is. It does happen. Again, it's the team aspect of League of Legends. Sometimes there's very little you can do, and that's fine. But if I am uploading it, which I think I might, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Crawl down!